right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Champions Cup quarter-final between Careful and Sergal. Um, Sergal with the humans, Careful with the Amazons. Careful, that's the easiest way to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> won the toss, chose to kick, as he does 19 of 20 times. And his inducements were a wizard and a apple and a babe. He also got the fame. And let's have a look at the teams. So Sergal's got humans and there's a big turn one in the way. Let's wait a second. He's got a fantastic killer here. This killer is obviously tailor-made to kill Amazons here. Um, absolutely, absolutely amazing killer. You know, palm, tackle. Dauntless isn't obviously not getting so much use this game, or in fact, no use this game. Uh, but jump up is, you know, is amazing. Um, he's comp actually, no, he doesn't, he doesn't have Juggernaut, does he? So he's not perfect at killing Amazons, but he's very good with jump up and tackle palm, obviously. He's got, you know, quite a lot of guard. Some more tackle, some more, some more mighty blow. Um, he's got a rookie only with tackle. But, you know, it's quite a lot of guard, isn't there? Three, four, five, five guard, six guard, six guard, uh, three tacklers, the one's a bit shit. So it's not actually that good, but it's still... Uh, he's got 13 men. I think it's still good and favourite against Careful's team. Um, Careful's got a guard, just a guard on a line -o. And another guard, so only two guard total. Um, some fend to stick on the pommer, I guess, to get hit by the pommer. Um, some adge, a killer of his own. And his killer also has Dauntless, which might be used, but um, not super amazing. <laughs> Alright, see you, Doc Man. Um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? He's got an adge for carry, which is pretty nice. But this looks to favour Circle, I think. I think the teams I think the teams favour Circle in this match. Um, but I think we all expected the coaching to favour K Fool <laughs> a little bit. Um Circle is, is like fine. Fine at Blood Bowl. He's uh he is one of the the band UC cheats. <laughs> Hopefully I'm allowed to still call them band cheats because they were banned for cheating. But there you go. <laughs> That's what that was him. He was banned from PS4. Um, not banned on PC though. So, you know, he, he played on PC to try and win there. And he's fine, but he's, he's not as good as the upper echelon of players. Uh, there was a collusion ring on PS4 Trancara, so they all got all the good players didn't play each other, basically. <laughs> well, not all. A lot of the good players didn't play each other. And obviously, if you're not if you're not getting as hard games, you're much more likely to qualify, aren't you? Especially with how few people were playing on the uh, on the PS4. He's not alleged. He was banned for it. <laughs> so, so you know, it's just whether I'm allowed to say that or not is the question. So you know, this is fine from Careful, isn't it? He picks off a guy that you can get. Pretty much the only guy you can hit with Mighty Blow. Doesn't run the risk of wrestling himself. Gets a bit of a elfy type screen up. <laughs> um, Sergal keeps him, keeps a lady in base contact with the ogre. <laughs> oh dear, Johnny Five. <laughs> Is there going to be a foul here? It looks like it, but he hasn't got a dirty player or a bribe, has he? I guess he's just, he's, you know, he's got guard, so he doesn't care about going for the uphill. Blodge and guard. Well, it's still weird, isn't it, to leave him there? So I presumably, Careful will blitz this guy and then 2D the ogre. This is nice, isn't it, the blitz into the uh, piling on. So had it been a push. Maybe he won't hit the ogre. I would, have, I would have hit the ogre. Obviously a push would have sucked a bit. But I would have still punched it. I don't think we would have lost a lot by, by do it, taking the hit. I don't think we would have lost, lost a lot of lost positionally. 
Lost a lot positionally. There you go. Wow, the five plus three plus dodge. <laughs> outrageous, outrageous dice rolling. <laughs> he doesn't hit a defenseless player. Uh, there's, there's only one. He could have hit her though. He could have hit her. And that's a good one to hit with guard, isn't it? But, um, he doesn't. <laughs> yes, Adon. Yeah, the thing about Sergo was he like gloated about it and said everyone's just jealous of them and stuff and was a bit of a bit of a dick about the whole thing. Um, whereas some of the others were better than that. <laughs> is there a chain? Oh, yeah, I thought about this. There could be a chain here, but it's not really worth it. Is he's got dodge and there's uh, there's guards, so better just to punch things, chain the guard away. Oh, Aureen. Interesting. One dice is... Ooh. My instinct would have been to have chained the guard away there. Not it, not in. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> Hello, Philip Proctor. Cheeky AV break. And you know Kefil's doing the normal the normal <laughs> kind of wow, that was a ballsy move, wasn't it? Uphilling. Uphilling there. The normal kind of tabletop kind of approach of doing everything you can to stop the score, isn't it? Um, a lot of people I a TV will focus more on you know uh, player survival or whatever protection making sure you've got your important players for the second half and everything um, whereas Kefil is pretty much always trying his best to win every game at all times and players be damned Afterlife should I watch the Afterlife? I don't love it Yeah, sounds. Was, did I write it? <laughs> Johnny Five. No, I'm not. I'm funny as hell. <laughs> really try. Do you do you like the music that they listen to? Because I do. He gets the two D pow. Mighty blow. Follows and again, I'm not sure about the follow, but then Kefool is not wanting to punch this. Uh, not liking punching this, is he? I would be all over punching this ogre, and Kefool has not punched it so much. Um, can he just make a bunch of two DBs? Relying on the Dauntless? No, he's not. It's a catcher with plus one strength. Oh, so that was just a it was just a catcher exposed. That was wild, wasn't it? Exposing your strength up, defenseless catcher to a pile on. Um, I do not like that. Instant punish. Will he apple it? Yes. I don't think that was worth appoing, maybe. Um, obviously, in one sense, it's guaranteed to work. It is a strength three catcher, which is all right. But he's not. it's not as good as his uh, guard and mighty blow and tackle players. Um, and he's got the n numbers to replace. So I was a little bit surprised about that, uh, about that apple. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, true. This is only one turn because this one's minus move, right? This one's minus move. And the other one is that's a thrower. So, yeah, his other catch is minus move. So, you would think the sidestep was a better one turner, but he's movement seven. So, yeah, that was his only one turn chance. So, yeah, fair enough then. Fair enough. Appling it. Pretty much his only one turn chance. At the time, I thought it was a bad apple. Or at least not an apple I agreed with is a better way of saying it, because of course you're not allowed to say your opinion <laughs> at all, but um, I didn't like the Apo initially, but yeah, when it's his only chance to uh, one turn, 
It was a terrible placement, yeah. Yeah, crazy to be out in there to get punched, absolutely. Yeah, Kefu, again, he's just completely concentrating on stopping the score, isn't he, at all costs, uh, pretty much. That's... That's something that Kefu does, isn't it, with playing on... T I think it's playing on tabletop more. I think Joe Manji is the same when he plays uh, CCL, or when he did play C CCL. Um, you know, just going for the win at all costs is kind of a tabletop-y thing to do. Yeah, I hated that foul as well. She was already controlled by the guard, wasn't she? Um, she could only get a 1D on the killer. And couldn't really get a 2D on him either. And he's get the killer's getting hit by Mighty Blow anyway on 2D. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a bizarre, bizarre foul. Did not like it and got, <laughs> got his tackle guy ejected. <laughs> Dodging from tackle. Dirty Dino. Some nice dice from Careful here, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Careful's a big, a big naff player. I didn't like this push direction. Um, I think you want to bust, bust down here, don't you? I would want to blitz the other way and get them through the hole. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You, you could have blitzed here from the other direction. Got in, got in through the hole there. That, I think that was his way to score this half. And then going down the sideline here is uh, he blitz. He's blitzing. They're not using, is he? He's, he's not blitzing for position there. Um, I think he should have come from the other other side. For sure, I think he should have come from the other side there. This is, you know, if you're going to blitz, if you're not going to, if you're going to blitz, don't blitz this guy who's doing nothing. Blitz one of the ones over here. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> so now Kefu goes for the not attrition. But positional fireball, isn't it? Because anyone getting knocked down is kind of good. Um, though not earth shattering. So it's not... I'm hesitant to call it a bad wizard. But I don't think it was a particularly good wizard. But I can see the idea. It, it pretty much shuts down the score. If it gets any two players down, it's very good, isn't it? If it gets the ball down, it's great. So it's still 50-50 to be as good as a ball, isn't it? Um, instead of 83 Plus, he can make his position progressively harder by getting knocked down. But, um, and obviously it was unlucky, wasn't it? It could have been three knockdowns and one not knocked down. It would have been great. But I think it maybe wasn't a great fireball. Yeah. Yeah, the result, the result was terrible. The result was unlucky, of course. But yeah, the idea, I mean, that's the thing, is it's like a bash matchup, isn't it? So it, like, it deteriorates Circle's position, even if it doesn't completely destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was unlikely to be devastating. That, that was my only problem with it. It was unlikely to be devastating. It was, it was almost certain to be, um... It was almost certainly going to be relevant, but unlikely to be catastrophic, if you see what I mean. Yeah, and then he just exposes the ball here. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is a strength two player, and this is a guard player in front of him. <laughs> and he could have 2D'd this tackler as well, with Wrestle. He could have just 2D'd that tackler with Wrestle, and he didn't. He just dodged. Oh, because this, this is a tackler here. Um, so he had to dodge. He had to dodge to get in the way of this tackler to stop the tackle coming in the back, but just gave him a three plus two D with tackle. Um, that was very bizarre, wasn't it? Very bizarre. And then he doesn't use sidestep. He could have sidestep to here, but instead he lets Kefu push him to there. And now obviously Kefu gets a glorious scatter here. But why on earth he doesn't scatter to here where there's an ogre and loads of players around? Why? Why he chose to be pushed to here? Well. Chose to not use sidestep. The careful can get him there is ridiculous. And then obviously he gets the god scatter and the pick up. Um, yeah, scared of the pommer exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah, and he had to make that dodge. So it's fair enough. It's fair enough, but it still could have been better, couldn't it? I think put the thrower there and put him in between or something. Um, 
I didn't like I didn't like putting him out in front. Maybe he's putting between the two guards would have been better. And yeah. Yeah, ball in your hands. <laughs> But I mean, really, it sh this should have been a, a size up to there. I think that was. Uh... It might have been a little bit harder though, careful, okay, right? It might have been a little bit harder if he was if he was a square back. I mean, he made it as easy as he could have possibly made it. Yeah. I mean, this was just that was just going. But wow, there's a death after using that apple. See, after using what I thought was the bad apple, he got a death in the same half. Which is a leader and a blocker and a guarder, which is pretty big. But yeah, I, I, again, I didn't realise about this minus movement. And he wanted to be seven squares away, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have done. But that was just going for like the more simple thing was just put him back so he's got a guard on either side. It's just, that's a simple move that's way better, isn't it? And protects from both the forward one and the rear one with tackle. So, um... I was, you know, I just think it was a bit of a... It was just terrible, wasn't it, really? Now he finally blocks the ogre. <laughs> Much rejoicing. <laughs> yeah, feeling that dodge would have sucked hard, yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty risky, wasn't it? One in nine. Um, it was a little bit risky from careful just going for that. Yeah, just because you could, yeah. Yeah, obviously there was no reason not to then. Right. So, like, yeah. Nil-nil, that's good, isn't it? It's a good result. Obviously, we would have rather not used the wizard to stop it. And would rather have scored when using the wiz. But it doesn't matter so much, does it? Um, it is... It, he has got the half, though, hasn't he, now? He's got... Some removals, that is staying out pretty massive, isn't it? So he's down two tackle, one by choice by fouling with him, and the other one by the KO not coming back. So he's only got one tackler on the pitch, which is pretty big. Um, three, five, eight, ten, only ten. And Kerfield still has eleven, right? Yeah. So it's eleven versus ten, man advantage for Kerfield. So he's, still, he's very happy, isn't he? Um, he's very happy at this point. If he scores, he should be able to stall it at 16. And if he scores at all, it's not going to be easy for the humans. Yes, absolutely, Volpe's. Fantastic. Nah, yeah, that's fair, Careful. See, that was my idea with the... Uh with the whole hitting the Adj5 guy. <laughs> Riot. So that makes the stall a bit easier, doesn't it? I think I think Kefu would have been happy with that and catches the ball. On a, on a 5 SPP player, which is ideal, isn't it? Now, and he's got an Adj4 to go for the uh, completion. And presumably this is the Adj4, yet. Yeah. So put the Adj4 on the Ogre to assist the blocks and then dodge away. On a 1 in 36, very good. <laughs> Oh, scumbag speed. Amazons are fine. Good old Amazons. They're good when it comes to like playing Blood Bowl and trying to win, aren't they? They're just doing, they are a bit they are a bit boring though. <laughs> That's fair. No blitz here. Oh he's gonna blitz then move. Al is clear. Maybe could have taken the wrestle there. Uh could have been an option, couldn't it? I wouldn't have hated taking the wrestle there. I don't feel like she's doing a whole lot over here. And taking four squares of movement off him might have been alright. Um, Kefool does a pass from here. I personally would have passed from there. So that if it was a fumble, the ball wouldn't be on the sideline. And if it was an inaccurate pass, there would be less chance of it going off the pitch. Um, and I, you know, I don't think she had to be there. If he blitzes here, he couldn't really put too much on. So I think that was maybe a, a slight mistake. Even there, she could have been. But I think here was where I'd have done it from. But just a slight, slight thing there. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think a re you would have rerolled in inaccurate. Yeah, probably rerolled in inaccurate for sure. 
definitely thought about an inaccurate. Would have used the full three minutes to think about rerolling an inaccurate. Obviously, you take the you take the uh, you obviously take the uh, fumble if you fumble. So that's why I'd have done it in case of a fumble. But you know, it's it's a uh, very nitpicky, isn't it? Here's a cheeky pow. Doesn't pile on. And careful power apples. He gets the power apple. Um, on, which is fair enough, isn't it? Because that's that that's like turn one of the half. Even though it's turn two because of the riot. Um, keeps him keeps her on for the whole drive. Pretty good value. Yeah, fair enough, careful, fair enough. <laughs> But is piling on gets piled on, but does not die. And we were all very sad that <laughs> that Sergal's piling on didn't die. But the the org's in a good spot here, isn't it? Um, and he's a bit dangerous. So here is one of the one of the things where um, Artemis and I thought. He should have just dodged out with this uh, this player, but careful one deed because he wanted to keep the uh, ogre tagged, which is why he one deed. Um, and, you know, it's only turns of one in six instead of one in nine, so it's it's only marginally worse odds of turning over, isn't it? Uh, and then obviously if he gets the push and it ties up the ogre, is now the ogre's free to roam. Yeah, still want to kill it though, don't you, careful? <laughs> you still want to fucking kill it though. <laughs> you obviously want to kill his jump up tackle palmer. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna get the ogre in or is he just gonna leave him there? I think leaving him there is pretty good, isn't it? Because everything's tied up here and, and not activating we don't run the risk of bonehead. So I, I like not activating the ogre there. And I did look at your comments. Yes, careful. Yeah, I did. So I, I like I like keeping him there. Um, from Sergal's point of view, and he's going to go for the dodge for a tackle hit. But it's a GFI because she's movement five. Jim Shard has to use the reroll there. And uh, gets the foul. I didn't even notice that one day. <laughs> and that gives him a bit of space to get forward, doesn't it? Really wanted to kill the catcher, though. <laughs> Obviously. But still, the stun's good enough, isn't it? Just had to break AV on it, really. And don't want to give the uh, don't want to give the jump up block, even though it works. He's got a jump up block at the moment, anyway. I thought what he might have done here was it was interesting because he had, he had a lot of players tied up, like everyone's tagged, and he's only got two days that he needs to get past to free anybody up. But he did this block like straight away, and I wonder if it was worth thinking anyways how to chain him somewhere. Uh, you know, maybe just not do that and then use the blitz with him. Even you know, even if you're just going to block with somebody else, just to get a blitz with him, um, it seems a bit of a waste just to do the jump up block. I think getting an extra block with him doesn't strike me as super important as opposed to like blitzing down. Like, say, for example, if he blitzed this line line woman down with him, I think it would have been better positionally. Yeah, obviously you can't you can't base him with having him having jump up. Can't base him with a good player, but wouldn't have really cared if this one had died, would he? So again, he doesn't get the free up. Oh, he does because he chains him out. Uh, he still doesn't know because he's got to punch again. And that's the thing, isn't it? They're horrible Amazons because if you don't power them, you don't free anybody up. So he's probably going to have to dodge with this guy. And gets the power to free that one up. 
That was nice, wasn't it? That was kind of nice, even though he's getting his pommel <laughs> smashed. <laughs> it was kind of nice. Yeah, he dodges with the strength. And that, the ogre's in a good spot, isn't it? I mean, this is pretty tricky for, for Careful here, isn't it? This is a pretty tricky situation. Um, he can blitz him, I guess, and pom him. And just stay where he is, basically. But it's uh, not easy to get forward, is it? Without hitting the ogre. It's the pal. Doesn't pile on, because he's got to protect the ball. Yeah, now, now that, to me, that GFI, the GFI was to tag him from the backside, whereas uh, I wouldn't have minded one ding him, because I think just getting him out would have been really good. I think uh, one ding him with block would have been really nice. Obviously, you're more likely to make the dodges, and then you can completely make the backside safe. Um, so I understand going for the two, tagging him and then making the dodges, but uh, I think I would have rather, rather rolled the pow. I mean, pounding him is really good, isn't it? Because then he's got to activate him. Because at the moment, he ain't going to activate him, activate him, is he? I don't think. And he blitzes him. Cheeky KO. And there's a lot back here for Careful, isn't there? There's four players back. And only three for Sergal, so so kind of Sergal's got an advantage at the moment, hasn't he? Three, four, five, six, seven versus three, six, and then he activates the ogre. <gasps> awful decision, awful decision activating the ogre. I think now, obviously, you can say he's unlucky to one in to one in six it, but I think he had to not activate the ogre there. Absolutely massive, massive activation of the ogre there. Um, so now Kefu's got a few options, hasn't he? He can blitz this guy and just move laterally with two turns left. Or he can blitz him and try and get forward. But uh, just a huge, huge bonehead there. Yeah. And double skulls. And then a both down. So if he blitzed this blitzer, he wouldn't have knocked him over. Yeah, yeah, he was he was doing great, wasn't he? The the ogre, and then I just screwed him. Powered him. So then that gets the guard up to here, doesn't it? Making him safe from ogre shenanigans. Oh, did you just stand this one up? So she could have dodged away. Yeah, so standing her up was maybe a mistake. <laughs> and ruins. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't like just moving there. I would, I would have run around to try and screen here as well because it was hard to run around this way. But there was there was options to come through here, wasn't there? So I think I would like to see the wrestle come up to kind of screen up here. But yeah, for sure I would have wanted to see more of a screen in, in here because that's where the danger is, isn't it? The the ogre can knock one down potentially, so you you kind of want something in there. Um, and he gets he gets a one dice power. I mean, he doesn't need to be a power. Does he just need the push? So he gets the. Uh, he goes for two dodges to make it a two dice, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe too many safe moves first. Yeah, and now a second dodge to make it a two D with tackle and pom. I guess he won't pile on though, because he wants the player standing next to the ball, doesn't he? He's got two tackle zones on the ball. So, it's a bit tricky, isn't it, for Kefu? A bit tricky now, but he's got a guard there, and, you know, he's got dodge and stuff, so he can always try to free people up and stuff. Cheeky pow. Dodge out for the two plus. Get the knockdown. So, cleared... 
cleared those two quite easily really with that edge four and guard made it pretty easy didn't it to clear Ah, yes, of course, the double skulls, yeah, made, made them scare the dice, of course. Of course. Ah, and then failed, failed the first dodge there, pretty much. Um, and now, <laughs> this is a bit of a mistake from Sergal here, isn't it? Because he's got a guard there that he's put in. Um, he's got to jump up here. He's got an ogre here, so what he can do is he can he can clear these two tackle zones, get this guy in there, and he can two D with wrestling. If it's a push, push him to here and and hit him again for an extra two D. Just get a guard in. Uh, it doesn't have to be a guard, just a player in here to cancel this assist, and he's got a two D, or even a one D. If, if even if he doesn't do that, because the guard he's got the guard, and he do, he does the push. Rerolls it and doesn't push it. He pushes him the wrong square. He pushes him nowhere instead of into an additional block. And even if you one D it, um, it's just it's just bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's just bad, <laughs> you know. And he makes the dodge in the end away from tackle. And you know now he could have made this two D on the ball, but he's he's moved in the wrong square. Unbelievable, Jeff. So Sergal has only himself to blame for that that mess. <laughs> He's made every dodge. <laughs> Careful fails his first one in nine, and then uh, Sergal makes a million three pluses, and then Powell's a dodger. But this is still pretty easy. Pretty easy to get away, isn't it, with Edge 4? He's got two guys. He's got some guard. Plenty of guard. Guard goes in there for a 2D. Gets the pow. Kind of needs the pow here as well on this block. Um, because the push would have just been a 3 plus 2 plus, he uses the reroll, gets the pow. Yep, did need two pows. And, uh, and got them with a reroll. So there's just two plus with a reroll to score. He makes it, and it's 1-0. And there is a chance for the one turn, isn't there? Uh, that's, that's strength 3 catcher. Yeah, it kind of became a perfect stall, didn't it? <laughs> One of those where the drive breaks down a little bit, but then uh, works out all right. And yeah, he does have movement eight, one turn chance, but no rerolls. <laughs> yes, too bad that mark is gone. <laughs> Careful, could put a, a side stepper on the LOS. But uh, I don't think he will. I think the no rerolls and edge three makes the uh, one turn hard enough. I actually don't like being one square back on these. I like uh, two squares back. I like being one square back because you can still get the angle here to get the push um, this way. So I don't like this one as much as being one square forward. Now he's got the movement eight still, but then he just doesn't he just doesn't set him up. <laughs> he doesn't even set up for the one turn. He doesn't even set up for it. And then gets a riot. <laughs> outrageous, outrageous riot. Um and then fails the pickup because his 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 throw is out. So but you know, he, he, it was perfect for him. It turned out perfect. He could have handed it off and then bezed forward. I think maybe he should have moved one of these uh, blitzes up first. To get, you know, someone in range. But he didn't. And uh, that was all she wrote. Because now, now he definitely isn't scoring a one-turner. Nah, fair enough. Right, fair enough. Fair enough, careful, fair enough. We're going to get a foul from the palm here. GFI by mistake. <laughs> Glorious.
<laughs> and then it's just trying to protect the good players a bit, isn't it? Sergal does go for the better player, the Dirty Dino. He goes for the Garda. It does not do anything. And there it is. GG, congrats to Careful. Uh, no commiserations to Sergal. <laughs> but there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, you, I agree. Yeah, with the one behind and that. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, yeah, very well played. I think there was no crazy dice. I just think I just think Careful played better than uh, than Sergal. They both, funny enough, they both played a little bit sloppily and exposed the ball a bit towards the end. But um, Sergal's was entirely voluntarily. Whereas Carefull's ass fell out after the yeah, after the double skulls and and that yeah, <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>